Today, I'm gonna be getting my life together. Ms. Girl, what is this? I need to just go get my clothes tailored instead of being like, oh, it doesn't fit, time to buy new clothes. Do I look like I belong at this restaurant right now? I'm about to shower because I got a date tonight. I just saw Emma Chamberlain and Jacob already. Y'all, bear with me, okay? The mic quality and the camera quality in this video is trash. But I fixed it in like the next video, so just bear with me for this one, okay? Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'll just get a venti ice green tea matcha latte with almond milk, please. Thank you. Anyways, hi, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be getting my life together. This hopefully this motivates you to get your life together too. To get your life together too. Today I'm going to be trying to basically get a clean slate. Um, this isn't gonna be no aesthetic like hey guys, like let's make our vision boards together. And we're just gonna be basically restart the day. Oh, I have to get ready for a little date tonight. So we're gonna do that. Thank you. I'm just gonna matcha because I didn't want to crash. I woke up at 6 a.m. today because I popped two melatonins last night because I kept going to sleep at like 2 a.m. I was like, Miss Girl, get your life together. Like, come on now. So I popped two melatonins. Oh my god, I had the best sleep ever. No, and I don't like to take it regularly unless like I'm on flights or something. But yesterday was much needed. I'm so glad that I did to restart my sleep schedule. If y'all are having a hard time, go buy some melatonin. Don't take it every night though, or else your body's gonna come relying on it. But I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. I love waking up in the morning and like it's really hard for me to do it but I know that I always feel so much better yesterday I woke up at I think 11 uh, yeah so I've been waking up pretty late but I felt so good this morning I got so much done and I feel like whenever I go on social media in the morning I don't feel so bad about it like after I get some stuff done because it just feels like I'm like oh it's only 9 a.m. and like I'm already done so many things I usually am not even up at this time you know so we started today off good but what was I saying? Oh my god. ADHD things. Oh my god. Like I'm so quirky. Like I have ADHD. Oh, mm, caffeine. Caffeine gives you a crash. I'm trying not to drink so much caffeine and just drink matcha more, but I don't have almond milk. We gotta go to the store and pick that up. Speaking of the store, that's where I should be going right now. don't have my favorite raspberry jam. Is this one gonna hit the same? Ugh. Okay, this seems cool, I'm gonna get it. All right, I just got home and I put the groceries away and then I was trying to look for my credit card and I thought I lost it for a hot second. I was like worrying. So then I got my car, grabbed my IDs and I was like, I gotta go get a new card. And then I pulled the seat back and it was like in the cracks. So I'm gonna clean my car now because it's dusty. Let me show you before. There's like dust everywhere. But like, do you see what I mean? There's splatters. Like, don't judge me, okay? Like, what is this? Ms. Girl, what is this? You see what I mean? So I'm gonna clear it out, take all the trash out, then go get it detailed. I was just gonna do it myself, but I've never gotten my car detailed before. So I thought it would be nice to try it. Something that I want to go do is go get my clothes tailored today. I need to get it done today because if I don't do it today, then I never will. I feel like that is such a great start to the year is getting your clothes tailored because if you don't know, I'm trying not to spend my money on clothes and just like have things that fit me perfectly that I know that I like. And in order to do that, I need to just go get my clothes tailored instead of being like, oh, it doesn't fit. Time to buy new clothes. That way we have less waste and clothes fit me more. This is what the back looks like now. This is just my sub, by the way. This like makes my music bass boosted. Ew, the way I said that as well. But yeah, there's a bunch of crumbs and stuff. It's like clean, but not really. There's just so much dust. Like what is in this cup holder? Like what is in this cup holder? Do you see that? Nasty. I'm also just gonna go upstairs and grab the clothes that I wanna get tailored. Cause if I don't get it done now, I never will. That's all the stuff that came out of my car. I hate how much stuff I have. When I move, we're not buying new things. I'm literally gonna keep track of all the new things that I buy because I hate having things. I I don't know, it stresses me out. I've realized, like I've said a million times, I don't need much to be happy. And if anything, the less that I have, the more happy I am because the less decisions I have to make. And I'm so grateful that like I have this issue, obviously, but I just wanna revert back to more of a simple life, you know, as I walk into like a room full of clothes. But I was talking to myself today in the car, basically talking like I was recording, but I just wasn't recording. Am I crazy? No, because I do this anyways, but just the camera's usually recording. So sometimes I just like to talk to myself, just to, like get my thoughts out, you know what I mean? And like I was low-key almost crying to myself. I was talking about how like, I feel like for the majority of my time, I'm doing YouTube like I don't really care about the numbers that much and the reason why is because like what everybody hates me one day I become broke and that's the end of it. Okay. Well, that definitely does suck but at the same time I don't put my 
value or my identity in the place that I live, in the clothes that I have, in the car that I have. Like I don't place my value in that. So let's say I lost that all one day. I wouldn't care. Obviously in the moment it would suck, but I would find a way to find happiness in other things. And like, I sound so weird, but there's so many things that bring me happiness that don't cost money that I know that if one day y'all decided to hate me for some reason and for some reason my YouTube crash, I would still be okay. And I think that's why I don't care so much about making a lot of money on YouTube, if that makes sense. Like I don't care about having to make viral videos all the time and all this stuff. Obviously it's in the back of my head sometimes, but that's not my sole purpose of making a YouTube video. And I feel like that's why I've been doing it for so long, like 11 years now I've been doing YouTube is because I genuinely love having a community online. And I think my objective of making a YouTube video is making something that people can be inspired by, that you guys can learn something from. When people say money doesn't buy happiness, Yes and no. Because let me tell you, you can buy happiness. If you went on to the store and bought all the clothes you wanted, you would be happy, right? But then after you have all those clothes you wanted, you'd be like, you know what? I want this now. And I want this now. It's just a constant like, I want this and I want this and I want this. But if we just revert back to our essentials and what we need, we would then realize that we don't actually need those things. And then we value the things that we do have and the simple things in life a lot more. And then you find more happiness because those things aren't just coming at you, if that makes sense. Like, it's just like, we really gotta dig deep to appreciate things. Oh my god, why am I going on a freaking tangent? Anyways, do you see what I mean now? Sometimes I stress about spending a lot of money on rent and spending my money and stuff like that, but I just realized that the things that I want to spend my money on are things that actually bring me happiness. So a nice place. I love living in a nice place, but I also know that if I lived in like a studio apartment in like a shack or in my friend's basement on a couch like I have done before when I got kicked out at 15 years old, I would be happy either way. These are all the clothes that I need to get tailored. Hi. I just like a couple things dry clean and then some things tailored. Yeah, sure. Do it again. This girl just spent a hefty $300 on like, I think 10 different pieces, which is a lot of money. But also if you add all the pieces of those clothes combined, it's definitely worth it because like some of those pieces of clothing were very expensive, like investment pieces. I just want to make sure that they fit right so that I get the most use out of them because instead of spending $300 on new clothes and then just not wear those, I'd rather spend it on those clothes that I absolutely love, but just like don't want to wear because they don't fit properly then buy more clothes and then just leave those in my closet you know so i think that's definitely like an obstacle that i'm gonna have to get over is just being okay with that obviously i'm gonna try to buy clothes that fit me better but um my body is changing not everything's gonna fit proper at all times and instead of just like buying clothes every time my body changes i'm just gonna get them tailored because less waste so look at me we love a self-improvement queen the most expensive thing was 75 dollars. i brought in a shirt that was like 300 dollars, which yes very expensive but i've never been able to wear it because it does doesn't fit, like I'm too big for it. The clothes don't fit me. I, no, no, wait, hold on, no. I don't fit the clothes, the clothes fit me. And that's how I feel good about myself is because I don't force myself to be like, oh my God, the clothes don't fit, am I getting fat? Like, no, excuse me, you fit me. So we have to add more fabric and stuff like that to fit because I put it on and literally the buttons don't even stay. Like I was holding my yitties because the buttons just kept popping open. But now I'm gonna go to a car wash, we're gonna get my car detailed, and I'm gonna pick up Sterling, and then what else do we have to do? Oh, I wanna eat. All right, I just dropped my car off to get detailed, but I'm gonna walk to the Grove and get some food and then sign my lease to my new apartment and then also journal a little bit. But then I gotta pick up some thoroughly. Today is a good day. Yo, I haven't walked around LA in so long. It's not something I do. It just like doesn't hit the same as New York. Like it's like a city built for cars. Like you never see people walking. Like it just does not feel welcoming to walk around this city. I don't know. I feel out of place. Y'all like my fit? I'm walking around with strawberry Crocs, some white sweats and a red hoodie. I think what's so hilarious is that I have so many clothes, so many outfits that I could be wearing outside in public, but the outfit I decide to wear is the most bummy outfit ever. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, I'm thinking about all the clothes that I have in my closet, and right now I'm wearing some Crocs and sweatpants. Hi, could I just get a table for one, please? Ooh! 
Yo, I feel so weird being out in LA. I don't know what it is. Like, I haven't done this in so long. Like, y'all know that I stay home, right? I actually feel so weird being outside in LA. I just feel like I'm in a dystopian world whenever I walk around LA, if that makes any sense. Like, it just doesn't feel real to me. Like, I love LA. Trust me, I love LA. But I love LA in my home, and I love LA for its nature. But I don't really like walking around LA because I feel like it's built for cars, not humans. These malls outside, though, the Grove, is really goaded, though, because it's for people to walk around. But at the same time, it's like the music that they play is like jazz, Michael Blue type shit. And they have like water fountains. It just doesn't seem real. Everyone's like taking pictures and stuff. I mean, as they should, but it just like feels like a episode of Black Mirror. Hi, I'm good, you? Could I get the, uh, your guys' fettuccine then? Like the one that's made here? That one. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. perfect. Cool, Bye. thank you. Bread. Why do teenage girls scare me so much? There's a group of three teenage girls that literally just stood there and like looked at me and laughed. I don't know if it was a malicious intent, but it definitely made me feel some type of way, okay? Like, oh my god, they literally just snapped their necks to break their neck to look at me again. Oh my god. I'm literally sitting where like everyone can just walk by and like look. Y'all see this? Mm. Okay. This music be acting like it's a club. Yeah. Do I look like I belong at this restaurant right now? Like everyone's just so nice and I'm like... I love mushrooms. Okay, I'm so excited to eat. Cheers. Mmm, it's so good. Two seconds later. Okay, right, guys, that was deadass just standing next to me, just with his mask on, obviously, and just like stood there. And he like was looking, right? And he just like stood there for literally 10 minutes and he moved to another side of me, like maybe like four feet away, okay, like in front of me kind of, and just stood there for another like 10 minutes. And I finally picked up the camera to record and I moved it like, so it's facing this way, y'all just saw, and he just moved. Y'all saved me, I'm telling y'all. Like if I didn't have this camera here, like he would have never walked away. You're the manager for the story? Yeah. This girl, I've never seen <laughs> a gas station so organized. I'm actually like in awe. Y'all see this? Like what? Have y'all like, seen, ever seen anything like this before? That store goes crazy. Anyways, I'm so excited. I haven't had my car detailed in, I don't think I've ever had my car detailed. Thank you. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, aside from that. She is so clean. Wow. Wow. Not just like the random fork. Oh my God. This makes me want to like go to Target and like buy like an air freshener or something. You know what I mean? I mean, there was air fresheners in there. Probably could have got one in there. Oh, I want to get the new car scent. Like I usually hate that scent, but like I feel like it's very appropriate for what just happened. Like this is a moment. I think I need it. I'm going to go get and get one. Oh, I got it. Oh, I've had like an old one on here. It doesn't even smell like it anymore. Activated the scent. Wow, my car better be smelling good. I better have people come in here and be like, oh my god, like when'd you get this car? Seven years ago. Just kidding, I got this car three years ago. <gasps> oh my god, I've had this car for three years now. Y'all remember that? If you were here when I bought my first car, well, this is my first car. You and OG. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this car until it breaks down. Like, I love this car. If you weren't there when I got this car, I wasn't even supposed to buy this car. I didn't even have my learners, I didn't have my license. Like, I was not able to drive and I've never driven in my life. But I walked into the Honda dealership for my sister and I saw this car in the used parking lot and I was like, I need this now. I saw the red interior in the bucket seats and I said, I need this now. And I dead ass used all of my money in my bank account and I took out a loan under my brother's name to get this car. I remember people telling me it wasn't a very smart decision because I didn't have my license and also I used all my money, but look where it's gotten me. It's gotten me so many places. Thank God y'all still watch my videos or else I would be broke. Hi, I'm Super Sterling. Pretty. Oh my god, you have so much energy. Let's go to the dog park. <sighs> okay, I'm about to shower because I got a date tonight. I also have pole dancing class, so my date is at 9.45. My pole dancing class is at 7.15 and at 8.15. I still have to drive home and get ready, but I'm gonna shower before, but this place called Sud Scrub has sent me this. Not sponsored, I saw them on TikTok and I begged for them to send me this. Y'all know that I'm trying to be more eco-friendly and I like using loofahs, but you have to replace them every once in a while because they get built up with bacteria and stuff and that's just a waste. So I wanted to get something that I can just use frequently and never have to replace. So I asked them to send me one of these. Basically, it's like a loofah, but better because it doesn't build up bacteria and it's silicone. They're called sud scrubs. I'll link them down below. Please go support them. They're Vietnamese owned. Yeah, this isn't sponsored. I genuinely just saw it on TikTok 
and I was like, I need this. It's not just any freaking loofah, okay? You can hang this, first of all, in your shower. It's got a hand grip, and in here, you can add, if you like to use bar soap, you can put bar soap in here, but you add your soap in here, and then you lather it, and it lathers up super nicely, but this is what it looks like. I'm actually so excited. Like, this is something I'm gonna have for, like, hopefully the rest of my life. I don't know about that, but, like, for a long time, because why would I ever need to replace this, you know? It's the little things that I get excited about. Super cool. Okay, I have like, well, first of all, I tried to do my toenails because I wanted to wear heels and then I gave up so we're not wearing heels tonight, but I want to get rid of a bunch of workout sets and give them away to like my siblings. Sibling, I only have one girl sibling. Basically, I have a lot of sets that don't fit me anymore. I don't know why, but I've either gotten wider or something, but things are just so restricting now and I don't wear workout sets like I probably should. Like I only wear the same couple pairs that fit me. So I'm just gonna give them all to my sister because yeah, I just don't really gravitate towards these anymore. Oh my God, like tell me why I have three of the same pairs of shorts. Oh my God, and look, these basically look the exact same, but they're just different shapes. See, like we don't need this many. Oh my God, the same workout set, but just in leggings. Like this is what I mean. You know, I love brown workout sets, but brown looks like dookie on me. So how can a girl have so many workout clothes, you know? How can she have two of the same sets? Actually, no, they're not the same, but they look practically the same, don't they? But my favorite set active set is this one that I got like three, two years ago. It's this gray one. They haven't made a cut like this since, but it's my favorite one. Wow, the same blue color, but in a long sleeve. Actually, I will keep this up because it is very pretty. Bro, how many colors of this do I have is my question. But you know what? That's enough downsizing for now. That was a lot. I literally got rid of most of my workout sets and I still have so many. This is a whole box full of workout sets that I'm just insane. Literally insane. Okay, I just got back from pole. Yes. Pole dancing. I've been doing it every single day for like almost a week now. I just feel like it's something that I need to force myself to do, like to get better at because I love doing sports. Like volleyball was my favorite sport, but I can't do it because it's a team sport. And like, I've looked into it. It's just not something I can do with the mouth that I move around, you know? Like, but pole dancing, I could do that anywhere, anytime by myself, in my house. Wow, I should become a rapper. So I took it on and like, I did it and I was like, oh my God, this is fun. But then I'd be like, okay, well, that was fun. I don't know when I'm gonna do my next class, you know? But then I was like, I just booked a bunch of classes a week in advance and I was like, I have to go like or else they're gonna charge me for canceling So I've just been forcing myself to go and it's fun, right? But like if I didn't book them all in advance to force myself to go, I wouldn't go So just like a little physical activity and I feel like it makes me like in tune with my body I tried yoga and I had one really good yoga class that I liked the other shit was moving too fast Like I don't like yoga that actually like moves really fast Like I like stretching yoga, but I tried to find the girl and I couldn't find her again Like did she only teach one class and then Dip? I don't get it. I don't want to make this a whole get ready with me video because I literally just posted one with my updated makeup routine But I time is currently 8 36. My date is at 9 45. Also, what is this miss girl? Come on now get it together, but I'm super excited to put on a cute outfit some heels I don't know if I want to wear a dress or like a really cool outfit yet. I'm gonna try to do my makeup real fast on jewelry and head out the door because Ms. Girl is late once again, but are we surprised? No, I really thought I was gonna be early. Like dead ass, I was so proud of myself, but clearly not. This dress is from Beginning Boutique. I couldn't get it all the way off, so we're gonna figure that out later. My scent tonight, my scent tonight. Black opium. This is it, this is it, okay. This food is so good. This steak is like, like charred and it's salty and it's so good. I'm also shitting my pants because Emma Chamberlain and Jacob already are in here. Okay, bye. I'm back for my day now. I didn't even reveal who I was on a date with because the menu literally said no photographs or videos or anything. And I see why, because in the restaurant, Jacob Elordi, like Nate from Euphoria was in there, and Emma Chamberlain. Literally like there. I saw this place on TikTok and it was like, oh, this is the place you want to go if like you want to meet people and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, I've been here before, but like I was here at the beginning of the year, I had no idea. So I went out there again and I walked in there and immediately saw Emma Chamberlain and Jacob Elordi. Did I say hi? No. I, I looked, I glanced and I saw Emma and I was like, oh my God, that's Emma. Like in my head, I was like, and then I 
just stop looking. And then I was like, wait, is that the way? And I looked again and then I stopped looking. Because like, you know, like if you stare at somebody for too long, they get uncomfortable because they're like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like, are they a fan? And they start stressing out. And we were in like a restaurant, like she was with friends. I didn't want to like make it uncomfortable. So I only looked twice and then I didn't say anything. Or, and I saw Jacob and I looked once and I was like, oh my God, that's him. And then I didn't look again because I was like, all right, they're just enjoying their time. Everyone's enjoying their time. I'm not trying to like be all weird, but internally I was screaming y'all, like screaming. So yes. I just saw Emma Chamberlain and Jacob Elordi. Anyways, I look super cute though. Um, maybe one day I'll expose who I went on a date with, but I couldn't in the restaurant. But that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe because I post a couple times a week and make sure to subscribe to be part of the family. Yes, I got a tattoo when I was like 14 because I was that committed. Please subscribe. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.